Hello guys, this is Raja, back with a new video, Theorems of Octopus and Galenas. So these are used to find the surface areas and volumes of a plane figures or plane curves and plane areas which are rotating about a non-intersecting axis. Or for example, we have bottle, so this is an irregular shape. So I am just taking a plane curve of the bottle. And if I rotate this body about 360 degrees angle, so I will get a surface like this. So to calculate surfaces like this, we are going to use Bacchus and Galdinus theorems, right? For this, I am taking a plane curve, right? So I am taking a plane curve and now I am rotating this plane curve for some angle. For some angle. I am rotating, I just assume this is some theta, so because I have rotated, so there is some surface area developed, so this is the surface area developed, so we are going to calculate the developed surface area, right, so for this, so I am just taking a small strip here yeah, I am taking a small plane now we have rotated for angle theta just assume it is the centroidal distance of this small lane with respect to OX axis so I am taking this as Y now it has rotated for small angle theta so this angle is right so what does this statement say it says so to calculate the surface area developed so the surface area developed so we are considering for this a small area right so the surface area developed is equal to the length of the small strip so which is bl times the distance traveled by the centroid of the small curve during the rotation. So during the rotation, how much it is travel? This travel its distance y into the distance it is rotated. Sorry, the angle it is rotated. That is so y into theta. So I am recalling again. So the statement says the surface area developed is equal to the length of the small strip times this distance traveled by the centroid of the small curve or centroid of the curve during the rotation so what is the distance traveled by the centroid of the plane curve so it is y into the angle rotated theta right so to calculate final area so i'm going to integrate because we have taken a small shape so integral dl into y theta so finally we will get Final area of the surface for applying boundary condition. Next, theta, yc, and the total length. Right? So, by this way, we are going to calculate the surface area of the plane curves and plane areas which are rotating about a non intersecting axis. So, here a yc means the centroid of the total curve. So, just assume this total curve is length L. So yc means the centroidal distance of the total curve with respect to OX axis and the L is total length of the curve. Thank you.